Hello everyone, welcome to Pampir de Reya. This is going to be general reading for everyone under the sign of Libra. So let's see what is important to know for you, what is important to know for everyone that crosses this path. It's important to know for everyone under the sign of Libra for the month of June. For everyone that crosses this path, I am open to receive. Libra, month of June. Got the deck three parts. Bring get back together. Okay, I begin pulling out your cards. We have the Three of Swords. Under that, we have Temperance. In the middle, we have the Six of Cups. Under that, we have the Knight of Wands. At the end, we have the Two of Pen No, Two of Wands in the reverse position. Then we have Judgment Reverse. Okay, to me, this is an indication of love relationships. So I will pull one <coughs> of these cards to see what is important to know. For everyone under the sign of Libra, please allow me to see what is important to know for you. What will help them in love relationships? Month of June. Okay. Cut the deck and we pull out your card. Okay, so we have a codependency, okay? This is either addictions or unhealthy habits or unhealthy things that you are doing. Um, not for all of you, okay? For some of you, it's going to be the root of some complications in the relationship. Okay, so the first thing I begin seeing for many of you under the sign of Libra is a difficult situation. This is a hurtful situation that is going to involve up to three people. This can indicate that it's going to be you, your partner, um, and someone else. Or this could indicate that there is you, your partner, a family member, this can be a son, a daughter, um, a brother-in-law, a mother-in-law, anyone in the family, okay? So there is going to be a hurtful situation, and um, <clears throat> with that hurtful situation, <coughs> you are going to need some time to think about what is happening and where do you go from there, because... I just feel for many of you, this is going to be really hurtful. If this um, hurtful situation is happening with your partner, this to me is an indication that you have found out, find out that your partner is either cheating, has lied to you, or has betrayed you. You are going to need some time to analyze and process what is really happening because what I see is um, some of you are going to be really weighing the situation. How do you approach approach the what is happening? How do you resolve? Um, you are trying to weigh how you feel and what kind of value the relationship of what you had already experienced with this person has for you. It's a lot of um, not really knowing what to do, but at the same time, keeping calm, trying to remain calm, and make the best uh, decisions, not only for you, for everyone in the family. Um, if this is a situation that you are going to be going through with a family member, daughter, son, mother-in-law, this is going to be something where you are going to be evaluating what that person did and how to begin mo begin moving forward to resolve. Um, I think for many of you, it's going to be really important to watch your diet, what you're eating, and what you are um, taking in. If you are in a, I mean, if you are right now on a treatment, please, because you are going to be a lot in your mind, you are going to be thinking a lot, analyzing what should I do, what should I not do, what should I say, what should I not say, 
uh, please pay attention then you that you accidentally don't take more than you should take because you will forget that you already took it okay and this can bring many upsets this can mean uh, <clears throat> this can mean that you are going to be feeling upset in your stomach this can be maybe that you will be um, vomiting or feeling sick to your stomach or some things like that okay some of you are really going to feel like this has hit, hit, hit me so hard that I feel like I have broken wings and I cannot fly, I cannot move, I cannot act in any possible way. And so for some of you, it's going to feel a little bit like an entrapment because maybe you didn't expect this to happen or you didn't see it coming okay for some of you if you are flying please be careful you can get stuck at the airport or something can be uh going on that is going to keep you longer at the airport this can be that you lost your baggage that you lost your um your plane you miss the plane or something can happen to the plane but this is nothing to be worried about okay because i feel it's going to be resolved Okay, some of you are going to feel like, okay, I cannot um, believe this is happening because some of you are going to be experiencing that feeling like um, this already, already happened with your partner and you are experiencing or reviving something that maybe happened to you six years ago or around six years ago and you are going to be really sad, uh, maybe melancholic about the, you going through this same experience once and again. Um, for you, um, for some of you, okay, <clears throat> you are going to be coming in contact with someone you haven't seen in quite some time. Maybe this person is from high school, your childhood, or someone that uh, you haven't seen in quite a while. Okay, some of you are going to feel like, oh my goodness, like the floor is shaking, or some feelings kind of um, return to you because maybe you had something in the in the in the in the past with this person. And when you see this person, maybe she looks or he looks really good, and you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't expect to feel, you're not gonna, you're gonna tell yourself, I didn't expect to feel this. Maybe something for some of you can happen there with that person. Maybe there is attraction or maybe there is something that uh, could be beginning, okay? Uh, I see the person that you will go, come in contact with. Okay, if you are a woman, this person that you will come in contact from your past that you haven't seen in a long time um he is a um, happy person um is very energetic happy likes to be helpful um he likes to dance likes to have fun likes to take risk okay and if you are a man uh the person i see you coming in contact with is in the energy the same very energetic very happy uh, because of her high, high energy um, she has uh, taking care of her figure or she looks really attractive to you okay there is something that you feel like oh something is calling me there okay so uh, by the end of May I see that um, some of you are going to be faced with a decision this decision that you are going to be faced is in acting okay and acting up or taking action or making movement or making something happen some of you are going to um, have to make decisions if you want to do something or not act and take responsibility for something that happened or I just feel, I'm just feeling right now, like some of you are not going to have the, the energy or the, 
the inner fire, okay? Because you are coming out of a hurtful situation with someone, either in the family or your partner. It's like something is that has died inside you. And I just feel like life is going to be banging at you. Okay, do you want to stay in this relationship or not? Do you want to uh, resolve or not? Do you want to have communication or not? Do you want to um, move forward into maybe solving or not? But you are like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I feel. I don't know what this person that just re-entered my life is making me feel. I don't really feel like I can decide on anything. You are going to be feeling like that, okay? For some of you, like I said in the beginning, some unhealthy habits, some unhealthy um, patterns um, are the root of your relationship not working. Maybe it is the codependency because you love this person so much, because you have so many strong feelings about this person. And even though this person is lying and cheating on you, you feel like, <clears throat> I cannot let it go. I cannot let it go. I cannot let it go. He is my weakness. He is um, what I feel, or she is, okay? What I feel I need to feel right where I'm at. But ready or not, <coughs> some decisions are going to have to be made. Please notice that uh, in the end of the reading, we have a major arcana. <clears throat> and this, excuse me, sorry so much. <clears throat> and this indicates to me that you are going to be feeling, I'm not ready to resolve. I don't know what I feel. I don't know what I want. But I advise you to be you, the one that makes and takes decisions in life. In this way, you can steer your life in the direction you want or wish to because if not then life and outside forces are going to come into place and force you or things will happen that you might say well I didn't want it this to go this way but it is what it is and because you took so long resolving and trying to understand yourself um things steer in the, wrong, in the wrong direction, okay? In the wrong direction. It's like you trying to help the situation, but you are not helping it in the right way. You are not being open to notice and to understand why something hasn't worked in the past and why it's not going to work neither in the future. So you have to resolve that. You have to understand that. You have to face fears. You have to act up, act in uh, in the right way, okay? Not just act and saying, okay, I ended or this or that, but think about what you really would really want. And especially if it hasn't worked in the past, why you think, um, how many times are you gonna be willing to forgive, to forgive? Or how many times are you willing to give a chance? How can you resolve in the best way so the relationship doesn't fall into these unhealthy patterns of being good and then experiencing the same situation in the following months, okay? Thank you, Libra. That is all I have for you. Please, if you would like to book a private reading with me, in the description box, you can find the information. Thank you for allowing me. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.